do remember last night there were Scottish girls in the audience and how surprised we were because we never get Scottish people here. Well, apparently, yes or no? Right. <laughs> so apparently there are two more Scottish people in the audience. Oh. <laughs> they don't look Scottish to me. <laughs> don't check them out. I'll be right over. Very <laughs> <laughs> Really? All right, come on. All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Phyllis Taylor, and I come from Glasgow in Scotland. I just didn't get a word of that. Uh, oh, no. and? Stephen Taylor from Glasgow in Scotland. You're both named Taylor. Funnily uh, enough. Yes. Are you married to each other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you just been to Hawaii and on your way home? Yes. Is that really true? Yes. On the way from Korea. From Korea. Victoria? No. Korea. We live but, oh, in Korea? You live in Korea. South you were in Korea? We live in Korea. You live in Korea? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit mixed up. <laughs> Why do you live in Korea? Money. <laughs> yep, you're Scottish, aren't right. you? Right. Um, so, are you on vacation then in LA? Is that what's going on? I mean, clearly you're not. Uh, do you. Uh, this is a very. This is the brightest thing I've ever seen a Scotsman wearing. <laughs> It's our 30th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. That's lovely! Wow! <laughs> well, good news. If you can answer a simple question, uh, <laughs> CBS will send you to a swanky restaurant for your anniversary. Ooh. What's the swanky restaurant, Michael? How about Craig's? Craig's. Craig's restaurant. It's nothing to do with me. It's actually good. It's, um... <laughs> It, the steaks and uh, they have chocolate pizza there. I've been there. Oh, it's really, really good. Yeah, it's very Scottish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's the simple question mm. Who scored the iconic goal mm. against Holland in the Argentinian World Cup? Archie Gemmell. Exactly right. I knew he would do it. <laughs> That's the only people who have ever been to this show that would be able to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a nice time. When, are you going back to Scotland or Korea? Korea. Korea? Yes. You say it like this, Korea. Korea. Yes. That's you speak Korean? Yes. Mm, a little. How would you say, if I said, uh, um, if you, how would you say Archie Gemmel in Korean? Archie Gemmel Mida. impressive, right? <laughs> I don't think they're really Scottish. Enough, everybody. I am also delighted to be in an air-conditioned room. <laughs> man, it's hot. It's hot, isn't it? Very hot. Yeah, oh, very hot. Hey, hey. Did you hear that? I, I said, man, it's hot. And they went, yeah. 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 Actually, I kind of liked it. Let's try it again. Man, it's hot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do the one at the end? Yeah. All right. I like that, too. Yeah. Who's that voice? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you just gonna go? Uh, all yeah, that's night? your no. That's your subconscious. That's your subconscious. What, what's that? That's the sound of your subconscious. What is? Uh, <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, you need it. A great day for uh, Barbara Walters, because uh, a few hours from now she will tape her final episode of The View. Now Barbara's leaving, and I'm leaving at this show at the end of the year. There'll be no more feisty old ladies on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Today, uh, all the previous hosts of The View reunited for a picture, and I forgot how many controversial women have hosted that show. Do you have that picture? Oh, look at that. Look at all these women in it. Look, look at that. Who's in the back there? That's uh, Donald Sterling's girlfriend, Yoko Ono, Catherine the Great, and, and uh, Joan of Arc. Well, the show's been on a long time. A long time, time, yeah. A great day for Rush Limbaugh. Did you hear about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rush Limbaugh won the uh, writing, uh, won the award, an award for uh, writing the year's best children's book. <laughs> <laughs> C congratulations, Rush. I had no idea he wrote children's book. I think it's called uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Obama is a Communist, and something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not a great day here in L.A. The, a pipeline is very hot. How hot is it here? It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. It is very hot here, though. I mean, it was so hot uh, that a pipeline burst, and it sent thousands of gallons of oil into the streets. The oil company said it was an accident. They meant to spill it into the ocean, but it's everywhere, right? <laughs> right. And there's so much oil in the streets of L.A., Dick Cheney almost invaded. <laughs> Anyway, it's cleaned up now. The last time a leak in L.A. caused this much fuss, Arnold Schwarzenegger had a baby with his maid. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, that's what. Was that a little, was I a little bitchy there? Uh, I'll knock it off. If you know anything about me, no, you know I love kitty cats. I, I, I love cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I can say that. I can say I love Cats. <laughs> I can't say it any other way. I gotta oh, say it like that, but cats. I love cats. Man, I love cats. <laughs> I spent half my life chasing cats. <laughs> yeah, cats didn't run that fast away from me either, I don't think. Nothing better than a night surrounded by cats. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> such a prude, man. <laughs> anyway, I, I, no, I love cats. I, uh, you ever seen the, the magazine cover I did? Remember? Yeah, the cover of Cat Fancy. <laughs> you can't have too many kitty cats. Do you see? Because there's that thing on the internet, the cat from Bakersfield in California saved a boy from a mean dog. It's all over the internet. And now the, the cat's a celebrity. There's rumors on the internet that the cat may be in talks to be my replacement. <laughs> 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 then, then you're going to get... The video is amazing because it actually shows a cat caring about what a, a, about a human. <laughs> that, what is that like, Jeff? That's like a that's like a that's like a, a Kardashian caring about privacy. Right? Yeah. It's, that's like it's like a, it's like Mel Gibson caring about Hanukkah. It's like yeah. it's like it's like Vladimir Putin caring about the sovereignty of the Ukraine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, come on! We love Putin. Who are you, people? It's like, uh, it's like Oprah caring about clipping coupons. Yeah, yeah. It's she'd like, clip uh, them like that. She'd, she'd be like, <laughs> you get a coupon and you get a coupon. Y'all get a coupon. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's like the Lakers caring about winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's enough. That's enough for that stuff. You don't have any more of those? Nah, well, I got one or two. But all right, then, uh, uh, let's see. It's like uh, the Duck Dynasty guys caring about Broadway musicals. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like Donald Sterling caring about the civil rights movement. <laughs> man, you're, you're working dark. What the hell, man? man. Oh, my God. You always give like those you're, ones you're to a me. A little political, a little no, more man. political than normal. You, you're man. like, hey, come on, and, no, and you're man. into Putin and doing your thing. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> is that Donald Sterling? Is that yeah, that's my like new that? Donald Sterling. That's yeah. what he sounds like. Yeah. He's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the attractive face of contemporary racism. <laughs> ah. All right, um, commercial break? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. Back with more of America's favorite feisty old lady after this. <laughs> Jeff? What is it? Friday? Thursday, 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 sure. Thursday night Thursday, show. Thursday, um, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> the, the thing is, it actually is Thursday. It is really Thursday. I know, sometimes we do shows and it isn't the day, but the day is the day. <laughs> here's, here's how I can prove it. You, <laughs> well, maybe if someone called me and they could explain it would... <laughs> Hello? Hi, Craig, it's Dr. Oz. How are you? Dr. Oz? Listen, I noticed you were wearing your Thursday tie, so I just want to make sure that everybody knows that when you wear the Thursday tie, that's how you know it's Thursday. It's very important that everybody knows that. It's very important. Also, I'm wearing my scrubs right now, so you know I'm a doctor. That's how you know I'm a doctor, because I wear scrubs. <laughs> Are you feeling this any pain right now? Do you have any sensation in your ear right now? Any heaviness? Do you feel any heaviness in your chest or anything like that? Let me know if you got any symptoms. <laughs> this is Miriam, isn't you it? You know it is. You yeah, know it I is. It. I told you, Miriam, your Dr. Oz impersonation is terrible. Never call me Oh, bitch, I hate you! Man, that's evil. Sorry, it was a private call. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little busy right now. Oh, busy doing what? Trying to stop that ship from sinking over there? <laughs> You're all out of time, Ferguson, but I've got nothing but it. <laughs> time, I've got nothing but time. No, no, I get it. I, yeah, said, yeah, but yeah. I said it at the end. I should have. I should have. Yeah, you should have. the wrong way to end. There. It. It's something more menacing. Anyway, Who the hell are you got... talking to over there, man? Uh, yeah, or nothing. It's a private call. Who is that? It's Miriam. Oh, Miriam. Oh, God, that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, just, I'm just trying to help her out. Okay, she went, no, she went a bit it. too far sorry, with the man. So you went a bit too far with the man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm crying in my soup. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I'll hunt you down. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Is that Jay Leno fly? Oh, the Jay Leno fly. Oh, yeah. Damn. That thing just won't go away. Will it? You won't go yeah. away, there, Jay Leno fly. All right, Jeff. What time is it? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who is soon to be replaced by a cat. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I love cats. Yeah, you do. <laughs> There's not a man in this earth love cats more than me. I'm big into cats. Well, I was, but not anymore. Well, you still does that thing. I'm telling you, I'm going to get this treatment done for you. I've been looking into it. It's on the internet. You, I can reanimate you. Really? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All we need is some of your DNA. And, you know, we uh, pour some uh, juice on it or something, and... Uh, <laughs> you pour some juice on it? Yeah, something like that. We okay. pour juice on it, and then it's something to do with, you know, you put it near electricity, and your flesh will all come back, and you'll look exactly like you did before your tragic accident. <laughs> That's wonderful. You, you'd do that for me. No, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't do it. Oh, but, oh I see. Uh, okay, all right. You know, a team of uh, scientists would. Or a something. team of scientists. Yeah. Well, maybe a scientist could call me and, uh, you know, explain it. Hello? Hello, I'm a scientist. I have, yes. my, uh, I have my team here of scientists as well. Uh, do you think you could uh, reanimate my uh, gay robot skeleton? Well, I'm certain that we can give it a try. We're working on some new materials. Just pour a little juice on it, and I think everything will be fine. <laughs> I'll keep in touch. Uh, this is Dr. Oz, and what you want to do is you want to get some... All right, um, it's a uh, tweet mail time. Tweet mail time, yeah. 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 Uh, a jingle? Oh, yeah, a little jingle, okay. yeah. <laughs> this is from Stephen in Waynesboro, Virginia, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, when you play the harmonica on the show, it really bothers my birds. Please stop. <laughs> Yeah. 
You knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> You're like waiting for it. It was a setup, man. That was a setup. It was a setup. He was trying to set. It doesn't. But birds love this sound. <laughs> All right. This is from Lars in West Hampton, New York. Whoa. You ever been there? Lars. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the Lars that you talk about? Yeah, that's I always talk Lars about. Lars that used to hang around in Lars. bars? Yeah, hello, I'm Lars in bars, hello, sir. Hello, I'm Lars. Yeah. These are my cars. How are you? They don't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> this is on TV right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is from Lars in West Hampton, New York. It says, Craig, can you ask Jeff if he's allowed visitors in the studio after the lights go down? Jeff, are you allowed visitors in the studio after the lights go down? Yes, I am. And there's your answer. <laughs> this is from, uh, if you want to visit him, uh, actually, if you want to visit Jeff in the studio, email um, ABC, <laughs> ABC Television and ask, hey, can I go and see Jeff? And we'll set it up. <laughs> right, ABC executive? <laughs> All right, good. Uh, this is from Amy in Hartford, Connecticut. It says, Craig, did you know that uh, the phone on your desk is actually rare and worth a lot of money? P.S. I'm an antique dealer. <laughs> well, you're a bad antiques dealer. <laughs> this isn't worth a lot of money, is it? Hello? Uh, hello. Who's there? That's uh, Jerry, sir, from room service. I was trying to make a call. Hang up the phone, please. Sorry, sorry Jerry. Trying Who were you calling? Uh, it's not important, sir. I don't really want to get into it. Just trying to make a phone call, sir. I'm trying to... We're not on the air, are we? Yeah, we're on the air right okay, now. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to call my boyfriend, Lars. <laughs> so... Well, we'll, we'll just... Uh, I'll just hang up and you call him. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey, hey, Lars, it's Jerry. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I was just polishing my cars. <laughs> That's, that's great. Yeah, that's great. You remember a while ago when they had the outbreak of SARS? Yeah, I know, I know. I understand that. I know. Hey, is someone else on the other line? No, there's nobody here. Who, who the hell is that? Nobody. This is uh, static. It's Miriam, you rat bastard, oh. and I know what you're doing. Miriam, wow. Um, all right. Uh, well, we're out of time. Are we, we're out of time? Okay, I'll just do another couple. Um, <laughs> this is from John in Barberton in Ohio. It says, Craig, what's your favorite vacation destination and why? I like to go to Korea. <laughs> yeah. To meet the Scottish people who are there. <laughs> in Korea. Right? Hey, hey, we're from Korea. Oh, Korea, aye. Hey, sure. We've been to Korea, oh, aye. Oh, you think you're better than us because you've been to Korea. Well, you're not better than us! <laughs> Um, this is from Lana in Miami, Florida. It says, Craig, do you keep in touch with a lot of your pals from high school? <laughs> oh, man. Pals? <laughs> high school? <laughs> this is from Evan in Laramie, Wyoming, who says, uh, Craig, are you playing a dragon this time in the new dragon training movie? No, I'm playing the same character I played in the last one. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would I be suddenly yeah. playing a dragon? Oh, it's because I'm Scottish. We're not all Shrek, you know. <laughs> some of us, some of us have been to Korea. You, sir, are a racist. Yes. You are a racist. You, you're a racist. Yeah, yeah, you let, allowed that email to get through. Yeah, you should be screening these things. It's your responsibility, man. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of emails. <laughs> and time. Though, we have some commercials. Take a look at these. a beautiful actress. We like to have beautiful actresses oh, here, yes don't we? Oh, yes we do. Yes we do. <laughs> well, 
My first guest is a beautiful actress. She stars in Growing Up Fisher with the series finale is on May the 28th. Uh, the lovely Jenna Elfman, everybody, Jenna. You look oh, great. Thank you. It has pockets, which is kind of... That's... They're great fun. pockets. <laughs> <laughs> they're really good. I really like that little castle bit in the front as well, like what's inside my I know, it's a little curiosity you know. creature right there, isn't it? It's not... It's very fashion forward, though. I like it. Oh, my God. Thank you. No, really good. Kind of Studio 54-ish, I suddenly feel I like I should be like... Just going around, you know. No, I kind of like it. That's that's the kind of thing that's going on, right? The thin belt. That's kind of seventies, isn't it? What, are you reading Vogue or what? Yeah. <laughs> I like I like seeing the ladies dressed up and hey. stuff. And I love cats. What are you? Uh... <laughs> that's a thing, you know. That's a body. That's a thing when you. Pick... I did it to you before. There's something about that area. I'm just. Mm. I have. Uh, well, what I do is before you come on the show, I have lint attached uh -huh. oh. here. <laughs> Because I know that you, you're like, it's like catnip to you. If I put Lent there, you'll be like, mm. I am. I, yeah. I know. Are you a meticulously tidy person? No. Well, let me rephrase that. When I'm alone and I don't have my two kids and my husband distracting me, I'm awesome. So, yes. Yeah, we're all awesome when we're on our own. Yeah, so in that, I, like, if I go to a hotel and I'm traveling and by myself, everything is, like, really laid out. Really? And meticulous, yeah, but when the kids and... My husband says he knows the, the route I took coming home by all the, the bra, the clothes, the, you know, the... The bras? The, the bras, the first thing to come off? They're like, oh, what a day, yeah! Oh. Why not? I wonder if that... See, I... I, you know, I, I don't obviously have that kind of... I'd be like, oh, I'd like taking but off your, your shoes. your suspenders like, probably come flying off. Uh, well, The hand yeah, goes but, in the pants. But they're not like, really oh. holding anything together, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, but I love the idea of just, oh, come on, ladies, breathe. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's something to be said for that. I yeah, no, I like it. That's Your wife's like, done that, right? And I don't think you probably complain when she does it. No, no, I'm there saying slower, slower. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what age are your kids now? Uh, where? Uh, yeah, where are your where kids are now? They? No, no, what age are they now? Uh, eight, four and six. Well, that's pretty good age. That's kind of like, yeah. you can take them around and they're portable now and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. like chasing them all over trying yeah. to fall on my face. or I actually had to get a... Well, this sounds horrible. I don't mean it. I'm a great mom. <laughs> I really am. But uh -huh. I was doing 14-hour days on the show, and right. that's a lot. And I was proud to do it because I'm really proud of the work that we've done. Right. But, you know, 6 a.m., what but 4, work 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., and then you go home and you got two kids jumping all over you, mm -hmm. and every single day for weeks on end. Makes you tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a little tiring. So when we finished filming, I was like, I got to get away by myself. Oh, okay. And we had just rescued this dog, and I went off to Palm Springs by myself to decompress. With the dog or not? With the dog. Okay. Who we had just rescued. Yeah, there's your mistake right yes. there. You're not decompress. <laughs> There's no decompressing with a rescue dog? No, no, especially one that's still getting over health issues. We had to go to the vet because yeah. he was having issues. And then well, he tore up What the does room. that mean, issues? What, was, what does that mean? Oh, he... What, he, his paws were flappy? <laughs> like, oh, I can't even bark, I'm so tired. <laughs> Uh, no, that was me. Oh, right, okay. Um, no, he was like peeing blood, so... Oh, 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 dear Lord. <laughs> I know! Oh, awesome. you enjoyed that, didn't you? You grossed everybody out. You're I know, well, that's why I was trying to skip over You're a over naughty, it. naughty girl. You made me say it. I didn't make you say it. You enjoyed you saying it. You say it. <laughs> So anyway, I had to take so you... him to the vet, and then he ended up... I, I was with him the whole time, and then I was like, okay, I need to just go have dinner by myself. Wait, wait, does the dog die in this story? Cause no. This is no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. No, he ended up tearing the room up. He, like, literally chewed the blinds uh -oh. and destroyed the room. He was on these, like, you know... Omega-3 oils, like, because he was at the vet. Anyway. So he's an L.A. dog? He's an L.A. Like, dog. Yeah. So dog is going to need so much kale and a massage. I know. And he's going to need to see a dog psychotherapist. It uh, was really not my thing, but they suggested it. So okay. I went, but he spilled that all over the rug and then the oil all over the hotel rug. The blinds were shredded. 
And then the whole way home, he got car sick and puked all over my husband's car. Two times. I pulled off the freeway, went wait, to the drugstore. I thought you were, don't you, you have your own car, don't you? Why did you take your husband's car? You took your husband's car because you knew the dog was going to throw up. And, and you're laughing because you know I'm right. Well, it's on national television. Okay. Yeah, I, I had to stop at a drugstore, get a new dog bed, then he puked all over that. And yeah, that was that was a great decompression trip. What did you what did you call the dog? Rocco. Rocco, that's a good name for a dog. It's a good name for a dog that trashes hotel rooms. I know he's like a rock star musician, yeah, like yeah, fussy no, guy cool, that trashes yeah. hotel rooms. Hey, yeah, uh, that's Rocco there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you can't stay here, Rocco. <laughs> What are you talking about? Rawr. You know, I just saw a dog like him walking down the street on my way here, and he, the dog had like a little mohawk, and I thought it was really cool looking, so I think I'm going to do that. Once his hair grows out from being shaved. Mohawks are over. Don't do me. Only jerks have got mohawks now. Well, he did trash the room and puke all... What the hell, man? What the hell, man? It was a joke, man. I was just wondering if you were awake or not. That's all. Well, trash your hotel room and kiss my ass, man. <laughs> We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jenna Elfin. We'll be right back. I'm sorry the commercial break was longer than usual, but uh, Jenna had to go backstage and uh, fix... What was wrong? You had to take your brow off or something? Well, they were, um, you know, hearing something with my mic. I think my boobs were just competing with me. Or... Do you have boobs that make noise? Because that kind of talent will get you into the Cirque du Soleil, my friend. Well, that's my favorite. Oh, hey. Yeah. Sing opera. Really? Yeah. Who's the best singer, righty or lefty? <laughs> they harmonize. Oh, ho, ho. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, why do I love talking trash with you so much? Because you're a dirty, naughty girl, and I kind of like bring it out of you. You no, like it? It is. It's, I do. And it's harmless. We, you know, it's harmless. all fine. But at the same time, is it harmless? It is. But is it? I don't know. You slapped me pretty hard when you hit my leg there, though. Okay. Did you just pull my hair at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, that actually looks pretty good. Hey, do you camp? Is, that, co is that code for something? I'll we'll talk to you backstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Camp? Do you go camping? Are you a camper? No. Oh, well, fun. No, I, I did some extreme camping uh, in the 1980s. And what does that involve? Uh, you know, sleeping in the street. <laughs> That's kind of ex oh. extreme, you know, total yeah. camping experience. Yes, I gotcha. That's the 3D version. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. right. Are you going camping? Is I'm going camping tonight. Tonight? Well, I'm flying up and driving in. My husband's already there with my six-year-old and to Yosemite. You see? Oh, Our lovely. first family camping trip. Oh, oh that'll be tent. great. You'll be awesome. <laughs> Oh, it'll be great. Whose yeah. uh, car is up there? Yours my or his? Uh, my husband, mine. Oh, the puke yeah, car or the good one? No. All right. He put the miles on mine. Well, you yeah. put the dog puke on his. <laughs> so we're even. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, yeah. we're out of time. Oh, well, nice talking to you. Well, uh, hey, uh, come back, though, and tell us how the camping trip went. Okay, I would yeah. love to. Yeah, you should. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Then I can, like, clean you up and... <laughs> I'll go like that. Yeah, next time. yeah, yeah. You can do that now if you oh want, yeah. <laughs> Jenna Hope and everybody remember right back. Well, why not? My Crikey. Show? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a Korean Scottish word, man. <laughs> My next guest is a beautiful actress who stars on a new sitcom, Undateable, which premieres May 29th on NBC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Bianca Kylie, everybody. Bianca Kylie. see you again. Wow, you look delicious. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you do. You look very well. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. you just had a baby. I just had a baby. That's lovely. Yes. Well done. Thank you. What did you, uh, what did you have? Uh, I had a girl. You got a little girl. A little girl. Lovely. That's yes. nice. Because the last time you were here, you were just going to get married. married. And now you've had a baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Getting any sleep yet? Nope. No, no, you're not going to. No. That sleep is over for you. <laughs> Forever. Forever. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. I, I'm really trying not to be too upset about it because I really love sleeping. Yeah, well, sleeping's for folks that don't have kids. I know. <laughs> I know, and I had a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and is everything all right? You're kind of like everything, you know, going on fine? <laughs> I think so. Okay, good. Yeah. No, I was going to say, because you look great. <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe you just had it. How long ago? Five weeks. Good grief. Oh. I know. Well. There's a lot of women out there that are like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't eat. Well, no, I totally eat. Oh, I, do you? I, yes, but eat I think. Eat kale? I do eat kale. <laughs> <laughs> Not a kale fan. Well, I like it. It's just I'm married to a woman that likes me to have kale. So, oh. uh. You know, you can make kale chips. Yep, she, you can do that too. <laughs> yeah, you can make it. No, can you make kale fries, you know. <laughs> kale burger. Whoa, what yeah. about just the, have the thing be the thing? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's Good. a different... Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm bringing too much myself. Do you Sorry. cook? No. God, okay. no. No, my husband, luckily I married someone who's a great, a great cook. But he cooks really healthy, too, so. Uh, well, that's good, though. That's, yeah. It's nice to eat healthy, you know. Well, it is. Sometimes he cooks and then I order in and out. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say that? Oh, she can? Oh, no, we're good. Yeah, no, it's delicious. <laughs> Huh? So, he, but doesn't that cause some friction, though, and you, if he's prepared a lovely meal for you? No, then... because I married somebody who loves me and wants me to be happy. <laughs> Yeah, well, so did I, obviously. <laughs> Damn, yes. now you made me look bad. I know, I'm sorry. I uh, well, 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 obviously he loves you and wants you to be happy, and you look happy, and you, you know, yes. he gave you a little baby, I you know. know. It's lovely. What does he I do for a living? Uh, he's on the radio. He does a, a show with Dr. Drew called Love Line. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, 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 I know that show. I think yeah. I've been on that show, or certainly I've been a question on it. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Psycho Mike, they call him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's who you're married? Yeah. Oh, lucky bastard. Well, I'm pretty lucky, too. Yes, yes, you are, of yeah. course, in the fullness of time. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah. we, so we had a baby, mm. had the baby at home. No. Yeah, we had a home birth. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and uh, Let's see, it was fantastic, and you saw the great you know, buffalo. <laughs> No, it hurt like a bitch, but it was awesome. <laughs> well, uh, would you do it that way again? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I would. I would. But it was really funny because we were um, we went and did a birthing class, and it was a home birthing class. Right. And one of the um, days they had people who had already had the home birth come in and talk about their experience. Right. You know, and the big question is, what does it feel like? Because when you've never had a child, and people try and tell you, you don't really know what it feels like. So this woman came in. She was very petite, very lovely, very soft-spoken, and she's talking about her birth experience. And one of the moms raises her hand and says, "Well, what, what does it feel like?" And she sits there and she goes, "Well, it felt like someone was sharpening knives on my pelvis." <laughs> And like half the class's blood drains from their face, and then she says, and then when I pushed him out, it felt like someone was using a blowtorch on my vagina. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have an epidural? <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, I, I think the home birth thing is interesting because there's a lot of controversy about it. Because yeah. if anything goes wrong, yes, you you know yeah. uh, what's going to happen? Because you know you're there with your you know your doula and your Coldplay album, but what's going to happen? <laughs> you know. But I, I didn't want 
want music or anything. I wanted silence. I mean, yeah, you're right. It's it's scary, but I to me, hospitals are scarier. I, I like they are pretty scary. Yeah. 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 And if you think about it, it's kind of crazy because giving birth is the one reason you go to the hospital when you're not sick. You know. Well, I, there's another reason, but <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Well, you know, when you're 50, you have to go to the hospital so they can look in your bumby with a camera. That's the doctor's office, right? They do that at the doctor's office. That's not the hospital. No, you don't go into his office. He doesn't go, hang on, I've got the thing in my drawer. <laughs> you have to go to a hospital. You, you can't do? You don't just go, where is it again? All right, I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, let me have a look. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, it's a hospital. Can you do that whole thing again? No, <laughs> I can't do it. No, I'm outraged. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not old yet. So. Well, let, let me tell you. It's no fun. Oh, oh, shut up. No, it'll it'll come your way. Yeah, Cameras and your, you know, all I that stuff. And it. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> well, the drugs are fun. Yeah. Five weeks. Can I ask your daughter's name? Magnolia. Oh, what a lovely name. Thank you. Is she named after a flower of some kind? Yeah. <laughs> and my husband's favorite movie, which was Magnolia. Oh, right. That was quite a long movie. Yes. And kind of all over the place. So we'll have a great child. So you have a very tall child who's got ADD. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> uh, this show looks good. It is a good show. I, I really, really love this show, and I hope everybody watches it because it's really funny with great people, and um, and we have a good time making it. So. Well, as long as you have a good time making it, and that's what people are going to watch. Yes. <laughs> it's always interesting that you know publicists say, "Say you have a good time making it," and you're like, "Well, who? I can have a care." <laughs> yeah. Well, but, but people should care because we want to keep doing it. Well, they, that, you're asking them to care about you. <laughs> Don't they? Of course they do. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 they do. Absolutely. And yes. it's fine. And what networks are on it? NBC. NBC. That's, the, that's the good one. Yeah. <laughs> I left you. What? I left you in CBS. Yeah, well, that's all right. What were you doing here again? What was uh, the one here? What was that called? Oh, yeah, Rules of Engagement. Rules of Engagement, <laughs> yeah. That, that did well. Seven years? Seven or? years. That's the, who gets seven years on television? Nobody. <laughs> you. Me. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, so my new show is a lot of fun, and it's about a group of friends in a bar. And do you have fun making it? <laughs> <laughs> you pulled my hair a little bit when you did that. Yeah. Well, that's our show, everybody. I'm Fat Scottish Drew Carey. <laughs> We're all done. So, did you have a nice time tonight, Paul? Yeah, I had a nice time. Did you have a nice time? Yeah, it's all right. I was, I was doing some of the moves I learned in Dancing with the Stars. Look. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know you could levitate. I can, too. Oh, yeah? Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. You, you can see, you stay up there forever. I can just get up and then I have to come back down. Look, there I sit. Do it again. Well, that's because I'm Morgan Freeman. Basically. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. Whoa. Hey, can you teach me to do that, Morgan Freeman? Yeah, just concentrate real hard. Okay. That's okay. it. Go ahead. You got it. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm done. It. Yeah. So, everybody, what we learned on the show tonight is in order to be able to fly, you just have to believe in your dreams and follow your heart. Isn't that right, Paul Morgan Freeman? And also have tremendous gas. <laughs> <laughs>